MGTOW and the nuclear bomb, part two. In my opinion, the ramifications of false child sexual allegations can actually be worse than a real case of sexual child abuse. There are actually more parties that suffer from these monstrous allegations. In a real case of sexual child abuse, the child suffers extreme abuse that cause devastating effects on the child physically and mentally. The mental effects are of extreme proportions. The culprit, whether it be male or female, is convicted and then punished under criminal law. The perpetrator spends years behind bars, and rightfully so. Let us say that the perpetrator receives, on average, 30 years imprisonment. Now what are the consequences to the child of false child sexual allegations? Many people look beyond the child and only think about the father or the mother. They forget that this child, in this false child sexual allegation case, has been coached, brainwashed, into believing that the complete untrue is actually real. Imagine a three-year-old child who has been pumped by a constant story on a daily basis into believing that a non-event is actually an event. All the while, the mother is showing sympathy to the child while brainwashing the child and even at times rewarding the child with lollies and or toys. But sympathy is not empathy. They are two different things. One must distinguish one from the other. Empathy is real and is on the inside while sympathy, which is external, can be acted out. A false sexual abuse allegation is actually sexual abuse within itself. When a mother brainwashes the child into believing that something has happened when it has not, you have to stop here and think, hey, hang on, the child thinks that something has happened. Therefore, the child thinks that he or she has been abused Therefore, a non-event has now, in the realm of a child's mind, become an event. The child has now actually been psychologically sexually abused. The culprit in this case has rewarded the child through bribery and or coercion into etching out images into the mind space of a child. The words and whispers of any parent that does this to a child is constituting sexual abuse through the creation of thoughts in a child's mind. The images drawn out in a child's mind by these false words are disturbing, confusing and sickening. This is destroying the basic cognitive behavioural skills that a child needs to acquire or has acquired up until the point of time whereas the mother has planted this nuclear bomb in the mind of that child. The constant bombardment of different sessions of traumatizing brainwashing sessions are a road of confusion, pain, sadness and more, all while being forcefully separated from the healthy parent by the unhealthy parent. The child now needs cognitive behavioral therapy because of the criminal actions of a so-called mother who has literally destroyed the recognition thought process in a child's mind. The child has been taught by force that the sky is green, even when it is actually blue. In the beginning, the child did know that the sky is blue, but had to go through a grueling exercise of torture into just accepting that the sky is green. Where is the confidence of this child now? Where is the trust? This is a child that when asked about the colour of a balloon, will first look at you and observe you while they say the answer, red, with precaution. Because the child fears that it may be the wrong answer, even though the balloon is actually red. This is the child that now lacks confidence and self-esteem and walks around with a hunched back on the road to dysfunctionality. False child sexual allegations are just as detrimental as child sexual abuse, but the punishment for these crimes is not being exercised on the criminals that commit them. This is an indication that there is a complete bias against men, a type of bias that can be used as the mother of all litmus tests. If governments are willing to make children expendable, which they have, on the basis that the mothers use them as objects for gain in such a sickening, 
frightening and criminal way, then the government has failed not only men, but has also failed children. And yes, they have failed children. It is crystal clear they have favoured the mother over the child and the father by force. Whether the child likes it or not, whether the father accepts it or not, they have breached some of the first few articles in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of a Child and Logical Rights of a Child. And as for the evidence that a father has, who cares? Let him rot. Even though he may have evidence that will save his life and his daughter from being psychologically sexually abused by the mother. The government has given this atomic bomb to mothers to be used against children and men. How much time behind bars should one spend when planting the false information about such a sickening thing in a child's mind? In my opinion, for this action alone, the mother making these false sexual claims must spend the same exact amount of time as the so-called perpetrator in the false story. This is not an easy thing to let go. Anything less is not justice. If an innocent man gets convicted of such a story based on lies, then he would be doing extensive time behind bars. Another thing that must be taken into consideration is the fact that the mother has psychologically sexually abused the child. What is the punishment for this and all the ramifications that come along with this? Mothers are being allowed to get away with murder. We live in a world that is truly dark and yet we call it the modern age. Put simply, children are being objectified by mothers that are destroying the child's mindset all for the purpose of gain at the disposability of men. Even the thoughts of a child are disposable and replaceable with the thoughts drawn out by the mother. What kind of modern age is this? Where is law? Where is justice? Men receive no justice in this specific subject. They actually don't even have a say or an opinion. The evidence that they have does not even get looked at, heard or even thought about. Men are completely, totally overlooked and they do not matter. They are not only disposable but are also expendable, dispensable and replaceable. When we observe matters such as this one, one must beg to ask the question, is the modern world about progression or is it about regression due to a relapse to a less perfect or developed state? This nuclear bomb of false child sexual abuse must be diffused and disposed. There needs to be severe punishment for any person perpetrating these types of crimes. If government did care, they would not allow mothers that falsely allege these types of accusations to get away with them. But the governments do. They knowingly allow these female criminals to get away with these horrific crimes. Personally, I would rather stay a man going his own way than be thrown in the midst of these false child sexual allegations. There is no protection for men at all, even when a man can prove beyond any reasonable doubt or even beyond any doubt whatsoever that he is innocent of these allegations and there is no punishment for the creator of the false story.